Somaliland is one of the few countries in the world endowed with some of the rare gums and resins used to produce some of the world's most expensive perfumes, cosmetics and other products. However, the gums resins trade in Somaliland is facing immense challenges including very rough terrain, bad harvesting practices, marketing amongst other married challenges. The Gums and Raisins National Day held in Burao on the 15th and 16th of June 2014 aimed towards creating a forum where stakeholders could discuss and find solutions to some of the challenges faced by the Gums and Raisins trade in Somaliland. It was also an opportunity to showcase some of the Gums and Raisins products as well as to network with the downstream players to ensure better business practices. This was the first time such an event has been held in the sector. Five ministers attended the event, including the Minister for Environment and Rural Development, the Minister for Trade and Investment, the Minister for Agriculture, the Minister for Interior and the Minister for Water Resources. This shows the high interest the President of the Republic of Somaliland has for the gums and resins industry. <laughs> Contributors to the conference presented most of the challenges and solutions for every stage of the gums and resins value chain. Have led them in all some I say. When I said them, when I said them, in all some I say, yet another long run. Eighteen exhibitors took part in the event, showcasing their different products, associations, and presenting the challenges faced by the production and the trade in Somaliland. The two day event was an experience in the sector from the upstream and the downstream actors. 
The National Day experience was one of a kind, allowing traders to be heard and contribute towards the development of this sector for an improved livelihood. The gums and resin sector alone is currently supporting over 50,000 families, mainly from the rural countryside, and translates for around 10% of the Somaliland population. The current exports amount to around 1,000 to 1,200 tons that translates for around $5 million. This is far below the production capacity of Somaliland, which is estimated to be around 2,800 tons. This trend is likely to change after the deliberations in the national days. We have to aspire to, to cover uh, quite all fields of activities around the gums uh, and resin value chain. We covered oil, upstream, and uh, downstream. Recently, we have uh, sent a team to uh, talk about the marketing and sales in uh, Europe. The event was organized by Sofreco in partnership with the Ministry of Environment and Rural Development and the Ministry of Trade and Investment under the Value Chain Development Project, Gums and Resins Component. <laughs> The Value Chain Development Project is funded by the World Bank, BFID and Danida and aims to stimulate the gums and resins industry in Somalia, making the stakeholders aware about the environmental protection issues, especially when it comes to trees.